everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Sarah and today I have a brand new wig that I'm gonna be showing you guys and it is from Una wigs I am super excited to show you guys this wig I've already put it on a couple times just to have it on for an hour or two and just see how it fits but I haven't really actually worn it out or done anything with it or made any adjustments but I'm really excited to show you guys so let's go ahead and dive in I also wanted to say that I have had some hair thinning, a lot of shedding going on, and really this front piece right here is kind of where I feel like it's occurring, and I'll zoom in to show you guys what I'm talking about, but it's just kind of these top pieces, and it really is just like cotton candy, and I've said this before, but my hair got better whenever I was pregnant, and then recently it's just kind of taken a downward turn. It's nothing too crazy and I still wear wigs full time, but this is a little bit of the area I've noticed where some thinning has been occurring. The wig I'm gonna be reviewing today is from Uniwig. This is the Penelope wig and she is a Remy Human Hair lace front wig. I'll go ahead and show you the cap. It has a top comfort cap and that's how it's described. I really love this cap. I can already tell you that just from trying it on, but it has this kind of fabric in the cap right here, which provides extra comfort and then it has lace from ear to ear so that's going to be right here to right here instead of temple to temple and there are not any ear tabs the color is described as a dark rich brunette and I have to agree with that it's very very dark but not a 1b not black and it has these darker caramel highlights dimensional highlights going throughout it so it looks really pretty in the sun you can definitely see that dimension there but overall just a very dark dimensional brunette piece. The length is going to be about 20 inches which on me kind of hits me right above the boob area. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair in a low pony and a wig grip and get ready to put this on. I always like to brush out my wigs before putting them on and it just kind of helps to prevent it from getting super tangly in the nape area. And here she is with, still has box hair, so it'll need to be styled a little bit later on, but definitely still really pretty. All right. She is on my head. I'm just gonna kind of adjust the lace right here. So there are no ear tabs. So normally I would take the ear tabs to adjust it, but because there are no ear tabs, there's just lace. I like to kind of pull it from the top to adjust it. But this is what the wig looks like right here. This is the color, like I was talking about, kind of that really rich brunette with those darker caramel highlights throughout. And that length I was talking about as well. It's a pretty good length. I'm gonna just brush it out a little bit more. It's a very flattering color and it's actually pretty much identical in color to one of my Wigs by Tiffany um, lace pony wigs that I have. So it's a very similar color that people always ask me about. She is really gorgeous. I love the hair on this one. I will say that I have owned several Uniwix pieces, but the hair on this one feels higher quality, and I don't know if they changed their sourcing or did something, but this one does feel a little bit thicker. The ends feel a little bit thicker, and it just feels better. After washing and styling it, you could see exactly what it would look like, but so far my first impressions is that I'm pretty impressed with the way that the hair feels. The cap is super comfortable. That's probably one of my favorite things that I immediately noticed about this wig is that it just feels like 
it fits your head, but it's super comfortable. There's nothing itchy, there's nothing pulling. It just feels fitted, but also soft at the same time. The hairline and the part are not bleached. So if you are concerned about having darker knots, which I know some women are, some women aren't, but if you are, then you would probably wanna use either silicone tape or some makeup to try to help conceal it. And there are different ways that you can try to get around that. If you're wanting to cut bangs into this piece, then you wouldn't have to worry about that at all. This Penelope wig has a lot of movement and I really just like the way it feels. It has a higher density, but it's not heavy. And that's kind of the best combination that you can have. Another thing I like about this wig so far is that I can kind of run my fingers through it and move it to the side. And with all lace top wigs, you do have the ability to move the part. So even though it's a middle part right now, I could change it, but it's also nice that I can kind of just have this look where I can kind of bring it over a little bit and just give it more of a tousled look like you would with your own bio hair. And like I said earlier with these lace ear tabs, there's nothing hard here. So there's not that like hard fabric that's normally there. It's just lace. So the benefit of that is if you're bald, cause then you can just glue this down. Or if you have a different color hair color underneath, you can also keep this lace ear tab right here and glue that down as well. And if your hair matches it, so in this case, I would pull my bio hair out and my hair is already kind of a dark brown, which is the same color. So if I didn't want this extra tab here, what you could do is you could just cut this off from here all the way kind of back and a little bit of hair would come off it as well. And then you could kind of mix your hair and tuck the wig in. So that is one benefit of having wigs that have lace all the way to the ear is because you have the option to glue it down if that works for you, but then you can also cut it off and mix it with your own hair. If you're okay with using makeup or scar tape to conceal the knots and a little bit of the part, then I think this wig would still be a really great option for you. And I know there are so many other women that don't mind a little bit of knots and they still wear them out anyways as well. I do have a coupon code, which is Sarah15, and I think after using that, this wig is probably a little bit over $1,000. So this wig is really good for those of you that want to stay in the $1,000 range because you're still getting a somewhat long length of hair. I know wig prices have been insane lately, so if you're looking for something in that range, then this is a really good option for you. I'm going to just try to put this in a couple hairstyles that I think would fit really nice with it and then show what it looks like because it is really lightweight and I think that's what I love. It's a lot of hair, but it's lightweight. So I think it would look really cute in a half up, half down and a clock clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. This is just a basic clip right here. And one thing I probably would do, um, there are slight layers at the front, but if you're gonna kind of leave a little bit of hair out at the front, I would trim these pieces, probably starting from right here with like an angled scissors, some angled professional scissors and just to give it a little bit more of a face framing look, but that's just what I would do. And then putting it in a half up, depending on you know how high and how low you want it. I think this hairstyle is super pretty. It's very elegant and you can't see any of the wefts or anything. You just have to be really careful that you pull it, off, pull it back in a section that doesn't show the wefts. This wig looks very similar, like I said, to the Wigs by Tiffany pony wig I had, and I did a reel or a short on bit YouTube where I put that one up in a claw clip, but I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, and it actually works pretty well. You would need to kind of, at the very bottom, kind of pull some hair down at the wig, maybe cut some baby hairs in it if you wanna do that, or mix your bio hair um, out with it to cover it, but I'm just gonna kind of show you I'm just gonna take it and you can actually go pretty high in this wig because of the construction of this wig, you have more mobility than you would a typical wig. I think this is so cute like this and it's just so nice to be able to have it out of the face. You can make it as messy as you want it or have it super neat and tidy and kind of like a tight bun, but it, this wig is really nice to put up kind of in the mid head length and it's very, very lightweight, but I really recommend the claw clip because it just secures it on there and you don't really have to worry about pulling too much up top. The last updo I'm gonna do is to see how high I can actually get this wig into a ponytail. And keep in mind, this is just a regular wig. It's not a ponytail wig or anything like that, but with certain cap constructions, you can definitely get that height. And I still do have the tag on here, so I'm trying to be careful. Um, kind of work around that, there we go. I feel it slightly pulling, but let's just see. Oh my gosh, it's so lightweight. It's not, there's, it's just a really nice wig. It's um, super, a lot of hair, but just super lightweight. Wow. All right, let me pull the wig down. 
I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is how high I got the wig, and it's not a pony wig, it's just a regular wig, but this is how high it goes by itself up in the air. And from here, you could do a couple things, like you could leave it like that, you could put a braid in it, or you could kind of wrap it around and do one of these sort of like top knot situations like that. So you have a few options for what to do and I'm really impressed with this wig. Okay, my final thoughts and kind of a first impression of this wig is that I give it a major thumbs up. I think this is probably one of the best quality pieces from Uniwigs that I've ever owned. And again, this is the Penelope wig from Uniwigs. I'm gonna put some effort into concealing the knots and kind of show you guys what I come up with, but I'm super impressed with the hair, the cap, and the ability to style it in different ways. I also really love the color and I think it's very on trend right now and it's a color that I think a lot of women would love. It's still in that brunette spectrum, but the highlights are just really flattering on the skin tone and I think it would flatter so many other women and look great on them. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a really great time just showing you this Penelope wig from Uniwigs. If you have any questions on this wig, please leave them down below and comment and like this video. It'll help me kind of know what you want to see about this wig, if I should make future videos on this wig or about any other topic. I will see you guys next time. And remember, if you are losing hair, I hope you're not losing heart and that you have a blessed day. Bye.